Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with the remaining month of uh, September reads, start from the 5th, uh, 22nd through the 30th of uh, September 2022. This reading is going to be for the sign of Leo. So Leo, let's see what is coming up for you for the remaining month of September time. I will be adding oracle cards in this reading. I will also be adding uh, color cards and messages from your person in this reading. So stay tuned. And uh, before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it is a general read. It may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest for personal reads. You can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see what is coming up for Leo for the remaining month of uh, uh, September time. I really see you as the emperor in the remaining month time, which is the beautiful energy to have uh, in the in the remaining month time. I feel like you, know, you are going to feel like uh, on top of the game. Um, you will be succeeding in love, work, or home life situation. Your your words, your, your uh, time will be appreciated uh, by the people around you. So I really see you as uh, somebody who has a lot of control over their life. Somebody who's feeling fulfilled and satisfied with their life. I feel like, you know, for some reasons, maybe there is something um, that, that you are uh, still, you know, yet to, uh, I would say... Um, uh, you know, uh, get yourself on to. It can be a situation in love or it can be something to do with your business or work or something like that. But you are feeling very much in control, um, you know, of, of uh, you know, having a control over your life. So you're going to feel very stable from within, for majority of you. You're going to, you know, for some of you, you might achieve some sort of success at work front, which is going to make you feel so fulfilled uh, on a career base. Uh, you know, or a career level that you're going to feel like, you know, everything is now going to work out for you. So there is some sort of satisfaction coming in as well for you uh, in the remaining month time. Let's see more cards here. Wow. Six of Cups. The Fool. I feel like you know, you're going to feel like you're free to pursue something in love. Um, maybe initially you felt like you were blocked. You had a lot of responsibilities. You had a lot on your plate. You had a lot of uh, stuff to do. But now I feel like you know, the remaining months time is going to provide you the time for yourself where you are going to be like working towards your own goals, working towards your own, you know, um, um, uh, desires. And I feel like, you know, that, that, that uh, satisfaction that you're going to get um, as, as you have achieved the position that you wanted to achieve, um, it's, it's just going to be, uh, you know, um, adding a lot of, uh, you know, uh, pleasure in your life. It's going to be adding a lot of, uh, satisfaction in your life. And I feel like, you know, this time is going to be ideal for you to pursue the things that you had put on hold because of, uh, other, other, uh, you know, situations that you were dealing with. I feel like you feel very satisfied and happy and content with your life in the remaining month time where you would be able to pursue the things that you wanted to pursue for your pleasure, for your own happiness, for your own satisfaction, for, for your emotional needs. I feel like, you know, this time is going to be ideal where you could, um, do things that are going to satisfy your soul. So maybe you are going to having some time spent with the with the with the you investing yourself into your own hobby or something uh maybe you are going to invest your time being with a specific someone in your life who uh who who brings you that satisfaction and peace from within so it can be different for different people but i really see that the remaining month seems to be promising in terms of uh it can add a lot of uh, time to your uh, to your bucket where you could spend that time with the one that you love, with the one that you cherish, with the one that you crave for. So it's going to be ideal time for you to spend some time with your person because I feel like, you know, it might have, uh, it might have, uh, you know, come through after a long period of time where you are having had that time for yourself where you could spend time with your person. And I feel like, you know, you are going to make use of it because uh, you felt blocked before. You felt kind of like, you know, tied to situations and you are free to pursue your love life now because you're feeling free, you're feeling relaxed, you're feeling like, you know, you can now enjoy your time with your person. Uh, so I feel like, you know, this is going to be ideal time for you to spend some time with your person. And if you are on the waiting side and your person had been busy, I feel like, you know, this is going to be the ideal time where you could be um, you know, having your person in your life, giving you exactly what you dry, uh, desired from them. Uh, so, I mean, the deck we do have the two of pentacles. Um, now, for those of you who are, uh, you know, um, who are on the waiting side, I feel like, you know, you would be wishing, hoping that your person comes to you, gives you what you want, and uh, you might be still, you know, in that process of manifesting them. You will be surprised to see that, yes, this person is coming to you, and all the things that were blocking the two of you from coming together are resolved. So I feel like, you know, it's going to be ideal time, whether you are on the giving side or you are on the receiving side, you will feel that your love life is definitely heading the right direction and you're going to feel very much fulfilled emotionally 
after a long period of time so i really see that coming through for you um let's see some messages coming from your person let's see what do they wish to say to you what did they wish to say to you so for for those of you who who were waiting for your person to um you know um to to give into the connection and not, don't let other things in you know impact your love life in a negative way i feel like you know your person would be taking charge in the situation towards you towards your uh you know uh, your love in the remaining month's time i feel like you know, they would be coming in with the uh, with the uh, you know all their gods down towards you and uh uh, they would be ready to give you the kind of love that you dre uh, dreamt of with them and uh, Yeah, let's see. What are their messages for you? Let's see So we are getting closer. I think I don't think I ever loved anyone like this So somebody is really madly in love with you and they really believe that they are You know so much into you that they never felt this way for anybody else quick reply is not my thing But I like getting quick quick though. I feel like a new person is somebody who's very controlling somebody who has always been controlling but for some reasons they were stuck in a situation too and that's why they are like you know they always like to have control over things and everything and i feel like you know for some of you you felt like your person is way too controlling um and maybe that's why they don't like if you say something to them because they feel like you know who are you to say something to me i feel like you know there is some sort of ego coming with your person as well i would like to date you um i feel like you know for those of you who are in separation or detachment this person um is going to return back to you in your life and they would love to date you all over again for some of you it can be a new person inter entering in your life as well which is going to change everything for you they might be somebody who's very controlling i think i now know what i want with you so somebody is definitely returning from the past because they, they now know what they want with you you are so manipulative i feel like you know this person is um could be narcissist as well with their attitude at times i feel like you know they, they do have a controlling energy and uh, they want everything the way they want like you know they don't uh, do things for your happiness they would love to be getting things for their happiness so they are somehow selfish in a way or two i would say i'm still trying to heal from past connection um i am seeking advice i'm confused so for some of you maybe a person is not sure like you know about their life right now with you but they really want to come forward they really want to be with you they really want to date you all over again but at the same time they're still working towards understanding shall shall they be reaching out to you because maybe you have blocked each other out of your life and now coming back together is something big for them because i feel like you know they want to stay on top of the game and maybe they are confused whether they should reach out to you or not because they have the ego issue as well i am returning back to you so this person is definitely coming from the past i feel like you know somebody is returning back to you and they are dying to be with you to be honest um so be prepared because somebody from the past is returning back to you let's see some oracle cards here let's see what the divine has to add to the read the divine has to add to the read oracle guidance for you so we have the past is now behind you release it and embrace new possibilities a new path is now available to you follow it with faith I feel like, you know, for majority of you, the divine really wants you to know one thing. The past that has happened has happened. Now you have a new path forward, um, which is available to you. So make sure that, you know, if and when this person approaches you, don't let the past hold you back. Try to take this as a new connection and you will see tremendous changes in the situation with the same very person coming for you. So let's see the color cards. Let's see what color could be significant or lucky for you for this uh, remaining month time. Tangerine, be spontaneous and have fun, number, uh, have fun, number 17. I feel like you know, it's very important for you to enjoy your life to the fullest right now. Um, and I feel like you know it's very important to enjoy your life to the fullest. You have to let go of the past. You have to live in the moment and see where things go. I feel like you can try not to uh, hold yourself back from anything good happening in your life and just embrace whatever that uh, is coming your way and try to enjoy your life to the fullest with this person because i feel like you know this person is somebody who's going to be adding a lot of uh, um goodness in your life but just that um i feel like you know for some of you maybe they have been rude to you in the past which could for some reason um make you feel like no you have to <clears throat> you have to have your guards up against this person for some reasons because they did so in the past so you need to do that too but try avoid going there because i feel like you know, it's very important for you to um you know um just ask yourself a question do you love them do you still love them do you still have feelings for them and if you do then i feel uh you should you should not let the past you know ruin the connection 
that is coming your way i feel like you know this person is more mature and uh, they know how to handle things better now so just just uh, let things be let things flow so yeah i hope it was of help and uh, wish you all the best and if it did who like share and subscribe till i do the next treat for you guys take care bye